Hello and welcome to my latest preview video and this time we're going to be looking at my new sidechain compressor. Now as most of you know, true sidechain compression in AUV3 format has been nigh on impossible until the uh, recent introduction of multi-channel inputs and outputs in AUM. So with that in mind, I want to give a quick overview of the compressor and then go over side chaining, true side chaining and something called pseudo side chaining, which allows you to use a side chaining feature within doors that don't have a proper input and output routing yet. Now let's take a look at the compressor in action, the standard features and what is available and what makes this one stand out. But before we do that, I just want to give a big shout out to Doug and Colin from the Sound Test Room for allowing me to use this track for demonstration purposes. So a big, big shout out to you two. Thank you guys. Now, as you guys all know, compressors are used to compress signals that kind of get a little bit stray and a little bit too rowdy. Um, the compressor allows you to uh, rein that back and prevent any unwanted clipping and distortion. Now you may have noticed the odd peak there uh, as the uh, sound levels go a little bit too loud. So as I turn this compressor on, I want you to take a look at the little graph area to the right of the VU meters. And this gives a graphical representation of everything that's going on within the compressor. So it gives you visual feedback of the current signal and where we are and when it's gonna be clipped. Now the observant ones amongst you will have noticed a little black animated dot which is flying up and down over the graph area. And this represents the current peak volume level, as opposed to the reduction meters and the VU meters which display RMS values. Remember that. Uh, so when the signal exceeds the threshold and starts to turn the corner, that's when reduction is taking place. And you can actually physically see that. You can see the reduction on the graph uh, as well as the reduction on the, on the meters. Um, just beware though that the meters are responding to the attack and release settings. So if you set those um, quite high, um, they will lag the actual graph. So I'm sure most of you know, attack is just the uh, speed at which the reduction is applied once the signal exceeds the threshold. And the uh, release is a similar thing, it's how quickly the reduction is faded off when it drops below the threshold. So let's now take a look at the side chain compression, I think that's what most of you are here for. And for those of you that aren't sure what sidechain compression is, it's just the ability to take a volume level from one source and use that to affect the volume level of another. And this is used typically in modern day dance music such as uh, dubstep and trance music. And it can be quite dramatic and it can be, uh, it can be a, nice, a really nice effect to use. Now as I mentioned earlier, this plugin is capable of true sidechaining and pseudo sidechaining. Now, True side chaining is only made available because AUM implemented the multi ins and outs. And I'm going to demonstrate that now. I have an instance of Digisticks with a bass drum. And I have an, an instance of Chameleon with a simple uh, string sound. Now the first thing we're going to do is add an instance of the side chain compressor to the actual thing we want to affect. In this case, the strings from Chameleon. Now if you open up the interface and take a look at the presets, you'll notice there's two sidechain compressor presets, sidechain 1 and sidechain 2. Now if we pick sidechain 1, that's true uh, sidechain compression, it'll set everything up to defaults, which is roughly where we want to be. Now we need to go to the Digisticks channel and pick uh, sidechain effects from the multibus audio instances. Now that doesn't actually add another version of the uh, plugin, it just allows us to pipe audio to uh, the uh, first instance. Now if you tap on the little label next to the icon that appeared, uh, you get to pick the bus. And notice we're sending to bus 2, and if you actually look on the interface of uh, compressor, we're actually receiving on bus 2, so just, just be aware of that. Now if we press play in AUM's transport, we should see the compressor reacting to uh, Digisticks. So let's play a chord. Now of course you can tweak the threshold and the ratio and the attack and uh, release. And try again, see what sounds best.
I'm sure you'll agree that sounds pretty good and I'm also sure that most of you have heard that kind of thing before in modern day dance music. So let's have a listen to another sound. Okay, so that just about covers true multi side chaining, but what about pseudo side chaining? Something I promised would work in all different hosts. Now, to use this method, uh, you need to install a second instance of the sidechain FX app, um, one on the source, one on the destination. Now, if you're doing this inside of Cubasis, make sure both instances are loaded as insert effects and not send effects. Now if we open the preset sidechain 2, it will set us up as a master and that's what we need to control the strings. Um, one needs to be master, the other one needs to be slave. So if we open up the other instance, which is on Digistics, I just set that to slave and hopefully everything will be set up correctly. Just check the bus numbers correspond and we should be fine. The simple rule here is audio is sent from slave to master. So as long as you get it the right way around, you can't go wrong. So let's have a listen. Okay, I think that just about covers everything I need to say. This is a preview video of an app which is due for release sometime next week, so look out for it. And finally, I just want to say a big thank you to all you guys that watch the videos, subscribe to the channel and get involved with feedback and such like. So until next time, thank you very much for watching.